Hi, this is Sammy again. Today I'm going to show you how to change from standard form to vertex form quadratic equations. So when they give you this form right here, which we call that standard form, they want you to change it to y equals ax minus p squared plus q. Now all of you know here in this format here, the vertex would be p and q. But that's not our concern though. We just want to change from this form to vertex form. So the method that you've been learning is completing the square and some teachers will teach you a different method. Uh, this method that we're gonna do with the blue equation here is, is, is a bit easier than completing the square. So I'm gonna start this first, okay? So to this, what we're trying to find is P first. So we're trying to find this value right here and P equals negative B over two A and then Q, which is this, to find the Q, you just do F of P. What does that mean? It means once you find P, then you do F of P. What's F of P? F of P means you take the value that you found for P, sub it in for the axis here, and solve your equation. And whatever that is, that's your Q. All right. Now, maybe I'll write the equation in a standard form for you so you know where this B and A and all of that come from. So the equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So that's the equation. So a here would be three, b will be 24, c will be 50. So let's find b, p first. So to find p, it's negative b. And we, as we agreed, b is the 24 here. So it's gonna be a negative 24 over two a and a is three. So that's negative 24 over six, which gives me negative four. Now we found P. Now it's time to find Q. Q will be three times negative four squared plus 24 times negative four plus 50. So basically what we did, we took the, the P value, the negative four, we subbed it in for the X to find what Q is. And that I'm just gonna do on my calculator. And I get two, so Q equals two. And therefore my equation in vertex form is Y equals A and A, as we see here, this is the A value. So A is three, X minus P. So X minus negative four and minus negative four will make that plus four squared uh, plus Q and Q here, we found it to be two, so that's plus two. So as I see, this is very easy. All you need to do is just memorize this here and then it just filling in the blank, you know, or filling in the numbers for B and A and all of that and doing all the work to find the equation. So that's the easy way of doing it. How about the second way? The second way is completing the square noticing from long experience that kids have trouble completing the square. And especially when you're completing the square and you have a coefficient in front of the X squared where the A value is greater than one or less than negative one, it becomes a little bit more challenging. But let's try to make it a bit easier for you. So the first thing you do is rewrite the equation. but you have to factor out that negative two out. Okay, and you could argue that negative two doesn't factor out of the negative 13. As a matter of fact, you don't even wanna deal with that negative 13 for completing the square. So you just factor the negative two out from this and this. So that will give you X squared. When you factor out a negative, that becomes plus, and that's gonna become six X. Now I'm gonna close a bracket there, and I'm gonna write minus 13 right here. So the negative 13 is not involved at all in completing the square. Now to complete the square, there's one step you have to do. So what you do, you take the B value to complete the square, divide it by two and square it, okay? So in this case, the B value here is six. It's not negative 12. Some guys, some, some students will go back to negative 12. No, the B value is after you factor the negative two. So it's six divided by two and square it, you will get nine. So this number nine that you got, you have to add it here, but you cannot just add the number to an equation and think it's okay because now you changed the equation, you changed the, the, the quantity of this equation. But how about if we minus a nine? 
So adding a nine and minusing a nine is basically it's like adding a zero. So when you add a zero to something, you don't change it. If I tell you, you know, I'm gonna give you ten dollars, you'll be very happy. But I say I'm gonna add zero to the ten dollars. I know some some people think that ten dollars is a lot of money, but if I I tell you I'm gonna add a zero dollar to the ten dollars, you think ah, you're not not adding anything. So adding a zero doesn't change the quantity of the equation. But now a lot of students, when you do this stuff, they say, okay, I'll just make this zero again. Well, if you make this zero again, why did you go through all of that work? That's not what you're supposed to do. So now listen to this. Once we do this step, this here, so you start writing y equals negative two. Yeah. Before I start talking about this, I'm gonna take about this negative nine. When you complete the square, the most important is the plus nine, not the negative nine. That's what you need for this equation right here. But that negative nine is just so that you make it zero. But this negative nine, what you wanna do, you wanna move it outside of the brackets. But to multiply, to, to move it outside of the brackets, it's affected by that negative two. So to be able to move it, then you multiply it by the negative two in the process and move it, okay? So what does that mean? It means, let me just write the brackets here for this. It means we're still gonna have the negative 13 right here. And then when we move the negative nine, we have to remember that we have to multiply it by negative two. So that gives us positive 18. So it comes out as positive 18, okay? So now this here we're done with. How about here? See, when you complete the square, what you do, you make this a perfect square trinomial. That's the, that's the reason we complete the square. And if this is a perfect square trinomial, then it's very easy to factor. All you need to do, is just take the square root of X, the square root of nine, write them inside here. And because this is a plus, oops. So we said the square root of nine, not the nine, square root of nine. So here, here again, so you take the square root of this, you put it there, you take the square root of nine, you gives you three, and then you look at the sign after that square, then you put that right here and you throw a square on top. That's how easy it is. Now, you see, if you go X plus three times X plus three, that will foil into X squared plus three X, plus three X plus three X plus nine, which gives you X squared plus six X plus nine, which is, that right here, but again, you don't have to do all that, that work. All you need to do is just, this is for me to show you that it works. So when you complete the square, after you complete the square, put this line underneath this part of the equation because this is what completes the square, the nine here and that here is gonna give you this. The number that's minusing, you have to move it outside and remember to, to multiply it by the factor outside of here when you move it so it's not, doesn't come out as negative nine, now it's gonna be multiplied by negative two, that's why it comes out as positive 18. And then when you're factoring this, all you need to do is just write an X here and the square root of the number that you added, the nine, the square root of nine is three, and then the sign after the X squared, that what goes in there. So if this was negative, then you should put a negative in here, not a positive, okay. Now let's finish this, Y equals negative two brackets, X plus three squared and negative 13, plus 18 will give you plus five. And these are the two ways to complete the square. Um, sorry, this is the two ways to convert from standard form to vertex form. Um, as I said, some students are happy doing this, but some students, they find this a lot easier. So if you have the choice, it's up to you. But some teachers, they say you have to learn both and you really have to learn completing the square. And therefore, maybe it's a good idea to put an effort into completing the square and learn it from here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching this. As always, thanks for watching again. Don't forget to hit that like button, share with family and friends and subscribe. I hope you're learning from my channel uh, because that's what it's all about. Till next time, bye-bye.